Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to episode 36 of Stellaris. So last episode we finally got rid of the second to last um, sterilization hub, which is really, really good news. It means that we only really have one hub left. There is, however, a lot of leftover fleets everywhere. So I'm gonna have to deal with those fleets. And unfortunately for me, my ships got banged up a bit as well. Let's uh, jump my Colossus to safety. There is absolutely no reason whatsoever to have it just sort of hanging out in a danger zone. So that's next up. Uh, I'd also like to be able to crush the Ganvius Fanatics. I'm not really fond of Fanatics. Uh, I guess at this point, yeah, I'm not exactly sure where to send this ship. I guess just back to Uralian. That works for me. Our current Upstate Titans incomplete. are repairing. Incoming transmission. Mm, let's see. I think I need to queue up some additional reinforcements, replacements even, for the ships I've lost. Luckily for me, the price of alloys is, well, it's now ridiculous because I just jacked it up a bit. All right, that's as much as I can afford. I don't know why, but we're going with the Radiclass ships. That seems to be fine. Now, for the ships that I have damaged, I'm going to jump them to Aurelion and then... I will rendezvous and hop back and destroy the remaining fleets in this sort of absent cluster of contingency. Because, absent because we destroyed everything that was there. Looking around at my planets, doing a bit of a checkup. Some of the planets are max sized with, I've capped out the districts. So a planet complete. like Dram and Sabtrak have been sort of stagnant for a while. I might be able to change some of the buildings they have on them, but uh, for the most part, they're not really going to change much. Ooh, I have negative influence. That's not good. Uh, let's go look into that. Uh, it's probably due to f faction suppression. I'm just going to go ahead and stop suppressing factions and stop promoting them, mostly because it's really not making a lick of difference. Um, I'm not thrilled about the way factions are operating in this current uh, version of Upscaling complete. Stellaris. So this fleet is repairing up. Let's send it to orbit around Aurelion. We have just tapped a dark matter resource, which will be great. Uh, we didn't have one before. We turned Screeching Abyss into something else. Now these ship clusters, I can either ignore or wipe out. Uh, I think, ooh, that's a good question, whether to ignore them or wipe them out. I'm not exactly sure. Research actualized. One of these plants here can be replaced. I just gotta figure out what to replace it with. Commercial zones. Actually, I'll replace it with a gas refinery because I am almost out of exotic gases. We got kinetic attack speed researched. I'll research armor hit points. And now that potentially Upscaling complete. they might be pushing into my Zoltar's Ma territory pretty soon. I don't like that. I think I'm going to ignore the Western fleets because they're likely to just stay idle for a very, very long time. And I'm going to work on the Eastern fleets because I don't want my Eastern front to collapse. Because I think the next area to go down would be Zoltar's Ma, which severs my connection to 
Terminal Egress. Because I don't own Tur Meku Black Hole. A little complicated that, but I think you you follow nicely, right? Go where the ships are needed. Not too too hard to understand. Now my ships are separated. So it's going to be kind of difficult for me to get my fleet that I want um, rallied with my current fleet. I will have to conquer some territory. So what I'm going to do is fly all the way to San Opal and then sit idle, ready to pounce and push their territory back. Some of their um, planets... Huh. I think they just occupy these planets. So actually, given that they just occupy them, I'm also going to want to send my army to bear. Uh, let's see, is there a jump point? I'll jump there. Now I am hoping that the contingency has spread themselves pretty thin eastward, making it easy to conquer, but they have ca captured a few planets, so I know that they're not going to be toothless. Once they conquer planets, they sort of dig their heels in even more. I guess time will tell, and we'll see soon. Another thing I might do is actually expand my territory over to the Marinia system for the exotic acids and physics research. Wouldn't hurt. Alright, it looks like I'm staged to invade Pennock. So let's get going. And the most damage I can punch into the Eastern Contingency Front, engaged. the better. So I am going to pit stop a lot of pits along the way to make sure that I'm doing as much damage as I can. Ideally, I'd like to remove all of this territory from them because the way the jump paths go, for them to get to Zolt Tarzma, they have to go all the way through all of these areas. I might, as a net result, cause some of their ships to come try to take me on, and that's totally fine. I'm going to have to destroy them eventually. Ideally, I'd like to hit their contingency core, their homeworld, wherever it is, uh, at... Benner Snatch. Bennett, Bennett Nash, I guess, or whatever it's called. Um, that would do deal a great big blow. That'd be awesome. Wheel to power. Sure. Is it going to actually work, though? Will I get 11? Oh, I will. All right. Nice. All right, one ship goes that way, one ship goes this way. Dividing and conquering. Let's get some research grants going. Now the new admirable, admirable, the new admiral I had. I'm curious at how his levels have been doing. Eh, he's level two now. It's not that high. And here their fleet is freaking out and trying to follow me. I guess it's just one fleet though. It's not that strong. We are doing a really good job of clearing out territory. Let's 
So this fleet here, I guess I need to kick one battleship out of it and then merge. I'm just trying to have all of my fleets be as large and well funded and set up as I possibly can, uh, which is a lofty goal indeed. But I also don't want to sit around and wait forever. Trade deal. You are going to give me free stuff. Sure, I will take your free stuff. Nope, I did this wrong. And the Titan's about to roll off the line. I'm excited about that. We have fleet capacity for four Titans. Might as well get all four. Okay, so this fleet is made whole again. I think I'm going to take out this fleet at Lombidus because it's pretty close to Zoltar's Ma. Now, Zoltar's Ma is no pushover. It's a 20k... Um, 20k base because it's a citadel but that's not going to stand up against an 80k fleet even if i want it to just wouldn't those numbers don't don't really work in my favor all right let's sell off just about everything i can in hopes to buy uh some more alloys for two more battleships The, con the concept here is the stronger my fleets are going into these fights, um, the fewer ships I will lose, and then therefore the less steam I will lose uh, trying to replace ships. Okay, so here's the Titan that we wanted. Rendezvousing up to Dearth. We also have a subsidiary fleet. Uh, rendezvousing a 10k subset that's not bad I mean granted you have to understand that my fleet here is like 200k but 10k fleet not bad at all in fact I might be able to game it into um, helping me out more than it would want to inquiry. sort of using it as a human bait we'll have to see Oh, and they're pushing their territories out a little bit more. Unsurprising, honestly. If you ask me, I'm surprised it took this long. Let's speed up time so we get these battleships sooner. Checking in on our planets. And then... where? What about our armies? Oh boy. Speaking of armies, I paused it. Uh, this army, I'm going to have jump away. Hopefully they jump in time. Yeah, they're going to jump in time. To be not engaged. I'm glad I thought of the armies, because they had a giant fleet gunning for them. Okay, last two That's battleships rolling perfect. off the line. I would say at this point, the only thing keeping my fleets from growing even more, honestly, is a lack of um, infrastructure for complete. more alloys and consumer goods and all that stuff. It's expensive, is basically what I'm trying to say. That uh, almost all of my economy right now is geared towards fleet production, and I really am not making a whole lot of ships anyway. Research actualized. All right. Let's keep going with the leader lifespan. This fleet is... Let's manage it again. There we go. Now... Let's go attack. Okay, I've already lost some battleships. As long as they're not titans, I guess I'm good. Oh, I lost a... The only thing I lost was a titan. Bummer. Yeah, 
that's not so cool. It's not going to slow me down from fighting. I'm going to go on the attack. I'll get that Titan rebuilt soon. Even if I have to sell the farm to do it. I don't want your federation association. Income. What a federation association is, it's like you become like a friend of the federation or whatever. It's it's pointless and I'm not ready to make friendships like that. All right, so we have enough for a titan. I think it was the Kalplar that died. Yes, it was indeed the Kalplar. I'm going to go a month without my consumer goods. It's fine because I was poor. It's just one month. So they have an unguarded army um, sort of sitting at Zempek. So that's a pretty good, that's a pretty soft target. And here they go, claiming more territory. I believe these planets need liberating, so let's go ahead and liberate them. Commencing seizure of planetary asset. And it's really easy because basically they don't have armies guarding anything. Attempting to acquire planetary market. So it takes literally I just show up, plant a flag, like an Eddie Izzard skit, and then leave. Let's go and take this fleet out. Commencing seizure of planetary asset. Okay, we have seized every planet that they had invaded. And then Lumbidus here also has some planets that I overlooked. They don't have any forces here. We slain them, but uh, let's land our armies. Inquiry. Now it looks like they took out yet another Titan. Why are my titans always the ones to go down first? Uh, let me take a look at my titan design. Yeah, so my ships are supposed to go artillery range. What about the Radas? They're also artillery. So if the Radas were set, and they don't even have the best ship computers too. Um, so the Radas are now going to be, um, I'm slightly modifying them to try to keep the Titans alive. So let's go back to Zoltar's Ma and upgrade our fleets. It won't be very costly. And then I'm actually going to go so far as to stop the Kavplar and ship design the Kavplars. Yeah, I know they already exist. Um, There's some sound glitches Attempting going on. Acquire planetary market. Not my fault, but I apologize for that anyway. All right. Fine. I'll They're not allowing me to use the AI. Huh. So doing it over here, yeah, I think it's, hmm, okay. It's because of the AI insurrection, the AI uh, computers are probably banned. Okay, that's fine. That means that I can do the Truntex, and then soon I'll be able to afford the Kalplar again. So what I basically did is I changed the ship computers so that they will they will, the battleships will close in closer to the enemies than the titans, therefore keeping the titans further out of range and hopefully less likely to get uh, blown up because it is a lot lengthier to replace a titan and that's annoying. All right, whoever this is, the Thori, you get your planets back. Attempting to acquire planetary market. There you go. I must have lost a scientist. Let's 
says I can replace... Ah, uh, that guy already has a job. Um, hmm. Oh, here's a perfect scientist candidate. Throw you in. Ships upscaled. So, a lot of them are also Rata Class 2s. Let me fix that as well. I just noticed. Oh, the Rata Class 2s are already line ships. And they're almost all shield ships, too. And then the Rata Classes are mostly shields. Ships upscaled. Okay, everything's repaired and replaced. We still need our Titans, but... They take a little bit of a little bit of time to replace. All right, let's do a giant land grab. Incoming inquiry. A commercial pact with who? No, I'm not doing any commercial packs right now because, well, I don't need them. I don't even really need to do any of the edicts either. Oh, there is a scientist at Vryn who was hired as the leader. Let's get assist research out again. Now I'm real, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. That planet is profitable right there. Let's jump into their territory. Cause I'd like to get to Bennett snatch or whatever uh, I would probably wait until um, I had the the missing Titans back but I wouldn't mind staging for it right now okay there we go now I can get the other Titans so Turntex and Kevlar So it'll cause a bit of a trouble here. Whoa, that is a profitable little planet there. Here we are at Marinius or whatever it's called. Marinius, yeah. So now if you see the way the ships engage. Well, this isn't a real battle. But it should be that the... I see... I mean, right now, it's obvious that the Titans are in front. Uh, let me see if there's any other way to slow them down. So, the Afterburners... No, that doesn't have any Titans. Hmm. They have more Afterburners than the other ships. So... What I can do is I can remove those afterburners in lieu of a different component, and we shouldn't close the gap quicker. I think that's the problem, is the Titans are just fa literally faster ships, and that's why they're getting into trouble. It was a design flaw. Made them too fast, and got them blown up. Upscaling complete. All right. Now we have Marinius. Let's tap its resources. Some old mysterious tanker here. Part of a anomaly that I don't have. Oh, we are fighting a sh battle. And yet another Titan dies and takes out an Admiral with it. Yeah, we really need to fix this ship design. Absolutely. Very tired of losing Admirals. Or just put admirals on a battleship. Kind of like um, the uh, cup and ball game. Oops. What did I just do there? Put a really crummy admiral in. There we go. This isn't Ender's game. This is... You're losing ships. It's not simulated. Quit blowing up. Research actualized. Uh, 
I don't think the, they particularly like the fact that I am deep into their territory blowing up their stuff. Hence, sending fleets after me. Incoming inquiry. Those guys really want that pact. Alright, what's going on with this planet? I am out of jobs. Okay, uh, well if I'm out of jobs... Let's see, I don't need an energy nexus here. So we'll replace that with a hollow theater. Because we have super low Research amenities here. And I'm just going to jump around and mess Research with their territory. Giving them something to do. And the, and the concept behind that is if they're busy trying to gain back the territory I've messed with, they are not spreading. And that gives my subsidiaries a chance to recoup and repair and stuff like that. So they've take, taken back Pennick at least three times now. No, oh, and there was some sort of rebellion on Zembek. Par for the course. I don't know why I had an energy nexus there. Honestly, it doesn't make much sense. A planet that literally does not generate power does not need an energy nexus. A planet like this does, but we have one. Upscaling complete. Okay, Marinius is all tapped for its resources. I'm going to have my ship, my construction ship, return to the homeworld. Now that we're done messing with their territory, I'm going to jump home because really soon, as soon as those two titans roll off the line... I lost another titan, didn't I? As soon as those two titans roll off the line, I'm going to redesign a new type of... I'm going to redesign the titans so that they aren't so fast and don't get themselves blown up. Because that is... a pretty bad design flaw. And that's going to really limit my ability to bring the fight to these enemies. But that's a Incoming long tension. time to wait. Takes a while. <laughs> Taking a look at the globe. Yeah, there's little pockets of rebellions here and there. As I sort of suspected, as soon as they took out the sterilization hub in the west, it sort of locked up and they stopped being productive. Uh, yes, they're still spreading into the Sovereign Geroid Directorate or whatever it's called. But that's mostly not my problem. Oh, why did I go to egress? That's interesting. I was fairly certain that my home system was Zoltar's Ma, but it obviously was not. Now, I believe this place has a yeah, crew quarters, so it's a little bit cheaper to keep them parked here. In Zoltar. Incoming transmission. Okay, so the Trun Texas have been rebuilt, and the Kavplars have not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for one Kavplar to come off the line, but I'm going to redesign the Trun Texas right now because we don't have one in the chute. So, so that we super repair, I believe these stack. Um, 
the nanite repair systems, but I could also do fire control. I'm going to do fire control just for increasing my chance to hit. I'll do one nanite repair. All right. These redesigns should not take very long, as Ships it's upscaled. only one ship that's getting redesigned. And once I have the Kavplar rebuilt, it should be all set. So, if you look at the speed, 285 is the speed of the Truntex, 306 is the speed of the Incoming Radamont 2s, inquiry. and the Radas are 307. So, that means that we won't be outpacing them and getting in front and getting blown up. I believe. Um, time will tell if that actually stays true. Trying to have both of my fleets be Incoming inquiry. tough enough to take big chunks out of, or finish them off, really, ideally. All right, come on, Codplier. We're waiting on you. Unfortunately, as soon as I roll this Kavplar out, I'm still going to need another Kavplar. <laughs> I know how silly that seems, but... Uh, okay, so we have one Kavplar. Incoming. And that's all the time I have for this episode. So, the second last, or maybe last, will have to be next episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope this has been useful to you. I'm going to have to catch you all later. If you have any feedback for me, drop me a line. Adios until next time.